really love about the habit tracker, Lily, is the fact that it is a conversational style mechanism of engaging with the um, person on the other side and asking them questions. And so uh, just to give the listeners and viewers an idea about what happens in the app is that you're presented with this sort of chat-like function where it says, welcome to Habit Tracker. Are you ready to start tracking your first habit? And as you go through that, you then get to select the type of habits in a very visual and easy to understand format where you can select something like, hey, I'm spending too much on coffee or take away or clothes or you know, buy an app later. Uh, and uh, I really love that because that is a very engaging way of keeping the person that is using the service sort of engaged and there's you know feeling a progress and progressively understanding their goals and desires and how much times they want to address say this particular sort of spending habit which is really super cool and i haven't seen this done in this way i've seen the personality test where you you ask like 10 million questions and at the end of it you're presented with this result but i love the fact that it's it's super engaging and fluid and customized to the end individual so that's the habit tracker um uh, folks in terms of just really understanding the habits that you want to address. Um, and so Lily, you talked about the, the library in, 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 in some format, but I really like um, it's, it's the third one down, which is so interesting is be abundant with money. And this is something that your bank doesn't tell you because when I log into my bank app, <laughs> it's giving me balances. It's not telling me how I can really fundamentally improve my financial situation and that that blew me away when i saw what is an etf what is a share portfolio i mean that that stuff is great but you you, you we talk about you know in the, in the library section how to be abundant with money let's talk about purpose the power of positivity um let it flow these are things that you would see in like a meditation app to get us to the root essence of some of these you know sort of concepts i'd love to learn more about just some of those pieces in the library section and how that can really help people understand their money in a, in a deeper way because i think they're they're super unique and very different to what i've seen before in financial apps yeah well this is this is unlike any other financial app right because mm. it's really about the root cause of financial behaviors which is always your brain and your habits mm. and your psychology right and so what you're talking about, you know, being abundant with money, th- that's a very, it's a feeling, right? It's a feeling because the, what the research shows is that around the sort of average income in Australia, beyond that, people don't get happier as they earn more money. Mm. And all of us have this psychology where, I mean, maybe not all of us, but most of us certainly, you know, uh, I think it's it's been my experience where I feel like if I had more money, life would be easier. Mm. You know? And it's a source of stress, right? And I ha- I experience scarcity, and I know a lot of people do. And sometimes even like you earn more or you have more, and you still feel like it's not enough. You know, like mm. like maybe we even felt let more relaxed about it in our uni days and when we were younger. And now we're older. You know, we're doing this difficult adulting thing. Um, we have families, we got jobs and it feels hard, you know, it mm. feels hard. And so yet if more money, according to the research, is not the answer to it feeling easier, you know, and we know financial stress is a top stressor for Australians, like that's a very robust finding. So it's a biggest stressor in our lives, but it doesn't ease up with more money. So how can we, how can we be less stressed? How do we feel better, right? What is true abundance or contentment? Because everybody comes in and, you know, we do a values diagnosis in the app. You start connecting with your values and learning more about your own personal values. And most of us value security. You know, we also value other values like adventure or creativity or love or, you know, whatever it is. But for many of us, security is also one of the values. But how do you feel secure? You know, if more money doesn't make you feel more secure, and that's what the research says, but we don't feel secure, then there's still a puzzle to be solved. And that's what abundance is. It's what is the psychology of feeling secure? And how do you get from here to there, right? You could go to therapy and work on that. You can also work on it using this app. And Mm. it's designed by psychologists and written by psychologists. And it really is about 
um, forming a deeper relationship and picture of what is your good life. And that is very personal to each individual. There's no answer to that. It's not like, oh, you know, you have an emergency fund, you don't have a lot of debt, you start saving up for a house, or maybe you even have property and, and now you're happy, right? It's not mm. like that. It's not just about financial milestones. It's also about, well, you know, am I living the life I want? And is money a barrier to that? And if it isn't, but I still feel like I need more of it. Well, what is the real barrier? What's the real psychological barrier? And what is the life I want anyways? That's not an easy question that we already know how to answer. We actually need quite a bit of self-investigation and hand-holding to figure that out. And so that's what we've got, which is the deeper intervention in this app, which is why um, we've been able to help so many users already in a short space of time to start rewiring their habits because rewiring habits isn't just like a dry, like I'm going to change, I'm going to do this thing instead of that thing to, today. It's a why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? And how do I feel? And what's my self story? And do I understand the triggers for my behavior? Mm. And that's, that's why this app is unabashedly about psychology and habits rather than about traditional ways of approaching money. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's an overwhelming uh, sense that I got from, from using 